Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are you guys going? I'm going great, and I'm going to kick off this video and start by apologizing for how uh, short the last video was. I didn't intend for it to be that short, but after I was done uh, cutting some of the stuff out... Uh, yeah, it just turned out to be a fair bit shorter than what I would have originally liked. But I'm going to make that up to you guys today with a bit of a longer video. And I, work with my mother. I know so I said especially... Oh, that's so, oh, that's so sweet. That's so nice. And you're such a hardworking little lass. Um, and I know, I've got to apologize. I know I said at the start of this series that I wouldn't be cutting or i'd be trying to avoid it as much as possible give me your money. and I, hold on i don't have any money you better give me five septums right now or i'm gonna bloody your nose ten septums tomorrow baby battleborn or i'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip no please i really don't have any money brave i'll give you ten septums tomorrow just don't hit me she's a bully yeah so I know I said at the start of playthrough I'd be trying to not cut, keep it as organic as possible, and I'm still going to be doing that, but um, just a, with a lot of the running around we are forced to do just by uh, the mere aspect of survival mode, where it's just running and not a lot is happening, um, at only at points in time like that I will cut, or if we're doing something monotonous like I... like mining out a whole bunch of iron ore like we were last episode those are the times i will cut um for everything else i won't cut at all but anyway on to the uh point of this video we're going to continue on doing some leveling stuff with our uh character we will then go to radiant raiments and solitude to see what kind of uh items and enchantments we can pick up We'll also uh, use, uh, I'll teach you guys today the alchemy potion I was talking about for uh, using the salmon row. And then we will go through, pick up the horse that we bought from Windhelm that we haven't been able to use yet and it's just been a waste. And then we will continue on with the College of Winterhold quests. Ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee, do we have some stuff to do today, so let's get started. And we'll begin by giving back Amren his work? sword. It might suit you. Amren, my good friend, I have your sword. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Well, I had it good. My father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Bit of a wasted level there, especially with the one-handed, but it's all good. Right, Thank you very much, Amran. I appreciate the one skills. Of the said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Whoa. That is monks. crazy. So, now we're going to head back up to uh, a Dragon's Reach. And we're going to dodge and weave Irileth as she approaches us with her sword drawn saying that Yael Bolgriff is not receiving any visitors. We're going to try and uh, get some common soul gems Alfred. off of... Yes, hey, Alfred, I know who you battle. are, and I don't care. We're going to see if Farangar has any soul gems for us, and we're going to use his arcane enchanter to start enchanting some of these gold rings that we've picked up. Again, just to start leveling out. Oh, there she is, right on cue. Just to see if we can um, come to Dragon's Reach to this. So you get wish some to soul the gems and start using them for the enchantments and getting our enchanting up a little bit. Ooh, wee! That is steep. That is steep. Oh, dreepers. Okay, we're gonna buy these. Um. We'll buy them as well because we are gonna make a lot of money back and we'll buy these two just for now. We're gonna we're gonna definitely skip out on these and we can't even afford them anyway. Um You know if you've got the aptitude 
And we're going to try and get to this before Ira left. What's the oh. meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. Yes, I'm tracking that Jarl Balgraf is not receiving I've any got visitors. My eyes on You've you. got your eyes on me. I understand. I will be out of your hair in a jiffy. Just let me do my thing. So, what we're going to do, we got 41 gold rings. We're, gonna, we're not going to be able to use all of them, but we'll use as many as we can. So, Petty Soul Gem, Craft, Skadoosh. Skadoosh. And let's all trap Fortify Alchemy. Yep. Skadoosh. I really wish they had a mechanic where you could just like mass create these things. Because going through the menu, doing this, clicking it over and over again is not my thing. But look at this. We're getting some... Gee, I wasn't even focusing. We're getting some really good levels from this. Some really, really good levels from this. So we're going to keep doing this. No, not fortify, not soul trap, fortify alchemy. No, 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 no. Yes. So these are weak. These are like really, really weak. Like their created potions are one percent more powerful. These are these are basically just gold rings. Like I wouldn't even call them enchanted gold rings, from what we're doing. Uh, but our enchanting is going up super quick. Actually, quicker than I anticipated. Like way, way quicker than I anticipated. We could probably grind this out if we really want to, but I don't want to do that. I want to try and keep it a bit more organic. Um, and yeah so with that actually because now i'm going to actually try and create something that will have somewhat a bit of a boost to our uh, enchanting add somewhat of a boost to our enchantment enchantments here so new enchantments are 20 percent stronger yes 40 percent stronger yes uh, and we can get the next one as well. That is really, really good. Soul gems provide extra magicka for recharging. Skill enchantments on armor are 25% stronger. Fire enchantments on weapons and armor are 25%. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to go have a little snoozy, I reckon. And we'll get... Hopefully we leveled up twice. Because if we leveled up twice, we'll get this one. And then we'll create a... Uh, an alchemy enchantment on one of the rings and then we'll get into a bit of alchemy and we'll hopefully have a perk to spend right here as well and we'll just all kind of stack up towards how uh, towards how What's the yes meaning of this interruption? <laughs> you're left please 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 just i'm gonna take that um hopefully it all kind of just starts stacking up is there any place close Don't by that we can sleep? Please? Please, 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 please. Um, oh, that is that is just painful. Um, can I take these? Yeah, I'll take these. No, no. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go have a sleep. See if we've. I think we would have leveled up at least at two. I'm going to say a minimum of two times. I. I okay. I'm not trying to prove anything to you, buddy. Not at all. Uh, hopefully we leveled up a couple times, so we'll have a couple perk points to spread over that enchanting tree and the alchemy tree. Oh, Lucia, I'm going to adopt you. If I get to a point in the game where my character is going to have kids, I will adopt you. Alrighty. Let's rent a room. We really need to get our own house. Because I don't want to have to do this every time I want to level up. You just rented a room from me. Oh, okay. Need cool, cool, cool. Else, I can still use this. Oh, sweet. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so we might as well sleep for a bit to get our magic and stuff up. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do now. And after we get through all that, we make the potions, we'll sell them. We'll shoot off to solitude. Hit up radiant raiments. Okay, magicka. Magicka. Oh, we're so close to the next level. But we've just hit level 10. So we're going to get some uh, some things 
rocking up to us. I think some things are going to start triggering right about now. Which isn't a bad thing. It's always good to have a bit of a full quest log so you never run out of things to do. Potions you mix that restore health, magic, and stamina 25% more powerful. Potions you, potions you mix with beneficial effects have an additional 25% greater magnitude. Poisons you mix are 25% more effective. Okay. So we do have two perk points like I wanted. So what we're going to do is... Bada bing. Awesome. And... No. Alchemy, alchemy. There we go. Bada boom. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. I'm actually excited to see you know what's how this goes. I don't know what's wrong with Skyrim these days. The Battleborns, the Battleborn family. That's what's wrong with Skyrim these days. Haha. <laughs> okay. Let's go back up to Dragon's Reach. Where my. Uh, I really, yeah, okay. We really need to cure this disease we got, so make an offering. Yep. All disease is cured. Blessing of Talos added. Other blessings removed. 100 gold removed. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to have plenty of money by the end of this. At least I hope we will. We definitely should. We've got all those enchanted rings. We've got those potions. We're, we definitely should be pretty stacked for cash. Again, now we just got to dodge Irolith. There she is. <laughs> She's so scary. <laughs> okay. Let's get this going. Uh, item. Gold ring. Fortify alchemy. Common soul gem. Wowee. That is not worth it. Okie dokie. What we're going to do first. What's the oh, meaning of this interruption? There is no Your meaning. Don't look any deeper for any hidden meanings. Oh, Ferengar. Why are you so nice all up. of a sudden? Okay, we should be able to sell these rings to him. Yes, we can. Because they are enchanted. So we're going to sell him all this. I hate how your inventory like shuffles around when you sell these things. So... Sell that to him. Try and get as much gold as we can out of him. Because once we get all the gold we can out of him, what we're going to do is... What else can we sell him? We're not going to use that because that'll... Uh, that takes too long to cast and that'll hurt our companion as well. I don't see us using these, especially with the new spells that have come with creation club so we'll get rid of that and i don't see us using this either we're probably going to go down the path of uh fire and electricity uh just by virtue of again the spells that have come in creation club so we'll sell that and that as well and that and we'll keep all this now sorry take a look now we'll get a grand soul gem. We might as well sink a little bit of money into this, I'm thinking. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Oh, well, you know, I, I like the recommendation, and you'll be pleasantly surprised to know that I already have joined the Mages College of Winterhold. Okie dokie. That. And then, bam. Cool. Okay, 13%. That's... That's good enough. I'm happy with that. That's good enough. We'll take it. So, skadoosh. And do we have let's let's uh, let's make another random enchantment. Um Let's enchant our gloves. What can we do? Fortify magic card 20 points. 8% more per Actually, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, 4% more powerful. Who cares? Let's do that. And we got one more soul gem, thalmor boots. Can't enchant anything with the Thalmor boots. Uh, what can we enchant with this? Fortify Alchemy again? Sure can. Booyah. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll do that. Now I really want to get another perk point just to <laughs> just to get the next perk point in. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Just to get the next perk Come point to Dragon's in to um, the Alchemy. Hostilities. Like the rest of the great warriors. Oh, I really want to get that next. Okay, what we're going to do is... We're just going to get a little cheesy. And hopefully that'll level us up. Yep, sure did. Okay, 
So we will have another perk point to play with now. And this wasn't unintended, actually. I was intending on using Muffle like this for a little bit. Just to help out with the leveling. And, like, I don't find this too cheesy. As oh, see, I told you stuff would start unlocking for us as soon as we hit level 10. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a, a letter from the Yarl. Moving, moving up in up the world, the world eh? Looks like that's it. Got, Got to go. go. Okie dokie. Okay. We're probably not going to pursue that for a little bit because that is, uh, that takes a fair while. That letter from the Yarl. And there are, frankly, easier ways to get what he is Come offering. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. And, yeah, you do have a warm bed. Hopefully, I can still use it. Oh. Ten gold out of me. I Here you go. Well sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank I'll you. What's you this note? Right Ooh, this read for Need anything else? sale. Just that. What? For sale, one tamed... Oh. <laughs> One tamed mountain goat, able to carry a hefty amount of weight to the throat of the world and back again. Gives good milk. If interested in purchasing, see Halvar in Rorikstead. Okay, that was fun. That was just a funny thing at first, but if it can carry stuff for me, that could be pretty dang invaluable. I'm going to take it. Definitely going to take that. Okay, I'm glad I decided to pick that up. That was completely random. I, I had no idea that's what it was. Okay, okay, let's go to sleep for an hour. And let's level up again. Magicka. I think once we get our Magicka pool... Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just keep... We'll keep... We'll keep pinning everything for Magicka right now. Keep on gunning in the Magicka. Um, and after I feel like we've got a decent enough pool where I'm not feeling like we're running out of Magicka too quickly, we'll start chucking it in health. I reckon that will be the go. But in any case, let's chuck a purse point in there. And now... Let me know if there's anything else you need. There's nothing else I need. I appreciate the offer, though. And now, we are going to go down huh? to... Actually, Uthgird, what do I'm you still have? Here. What have I given? I've given you a lot of stuff, haven't I? What do you need I? to take? Yeah, I've given you a few things. We'll take one of these right now and get something done right now. Let's so, go. the reason why do I got the mammoth the tusks... Very often. Oh, oh, what, what am I saying? saying? Of course, of course you, don't. you don't. I want to kill you. In every playthrough I've ever done, <sighs> you always end up dead. What brings you Ooh. to the market? I'm here to buy food, Nazim. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Still warm Owning a farm the does have its advantages. Chops and steaks fit for a yard. Come Don't interact with him, he's older. He's a terrible person. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Well. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. You mentioned trading caravans? Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Why not? Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. You're looking to become a merchant? Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Maybe I can help you. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Here's your mammoth's tusk. I just carry one in my back pocket. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Thanking you. Now, unfortunately, I thought I actually got some money for that, but I guess not. All good, though. Farewell. Just another quest ticked off. Now, let's go to Arcadia's Cauldron. See if everything in here is respawned. And... 
it hasn't. <laughs> Her store is still looking very empty. Um, but what we're going to do here is, obviously, we're going to get some alchemy going. But what we're going to create specifically is garlic. I offer remedies and for both common and rare. Do let me know if where I can is it? Service. Nordic Barnacle. I swear I had more of these. I must have wasted them accidentally. Well, that is just unfortunate. And Salmon Row. And that will create Potion of Water Breathing. And look at that value. You can breathe underwater for 394 seconds. Health regenerates 33% faster for 300 seconds. Magicka regenerates 33% faster for 300 seconds. That is an insanely, insanely powerful potion. And unfortunately... Oh, <laughs> I didn't put on that ring. Oh, people were probably screaming at me. I didn't put that dang ring on. At least I had the, the gloves on, I guess. But that could have been that could have been worth even more. So the only thing we're missing out of all out of everything now is Nordic Barnacle. So now we know to keep an eye out for Nordic There's Barnacle. I can help you with. Um but, to ask. but in terms of the garlic, garlic is super easy to come by. It's in a lot of people's houses just hanging. Um, yeah, we got three more of that. We got four more of the salmon row. So now, yeah, we're just going to need the Nordic Barnacle. But in terms of everything else, we'll have a look at what we can actually make. So, regenerate Magicka. We don't want to waste that. Uh, resist fire. Restore health. Let me know if I can be of service. Restore 33 points of health. We'll take that. That's always going to be good. Um, resist. I'm going to say... That. And we'll go... I can help you with. You have but to ask. Hmm. That. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm making all these extra potions and I still didn't put the ring on. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I am just an absolute muffin right now. I can't believe I'm not... Oh, please, please ignore that. Please ignore that. My gosh. Okay, let's get back to it. Let's see if it actually You'll makes a tanks, difference. Sacks, and on hmm. my shelves. No, not that content. one. So what was that? It was okay. So now it's twenty-two percent. So it does make a difference, and it's probably costing a little bit more as well, which is always good. So we'll make that resist shock is also good. Make that restore stamina. Let's do it. Um, regenerate magicka. No, that would be a good one though. Hmm. Fortify health. Fortify conjuration. What does that look like? Decreases type. Ooh, you that's a poison. Okay. So as soon as I add that, it's a poison. Um, what if I get those two? <coughs> so. So when you add I hanging moss for problems. some reason, that becomes a poison. Serve. So we'll get one of those. And we'll get... Fortify oh. health again. Aw, tired Uthgut. Okay, I think that's. I think that'll do us for now. We've got plenty of stuff Binds, to sell. Tonics, salves, so. And potions on my shelves. Yes. What do you need, well, my friend? I mean, we won't find it anymore because I ransacked your shop. But I'll take that. I didn't. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, but yeah, we won't find anything Look, much rather, on your shelves. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the... Ra so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Stop trying to convince me that there's something wrong with me so you get more money out of me. I know the tricks of the trade. So, Conjurer's Potion. Uh, we're going to sell a lot of these because realistically, we've got them and as helpful as they would be, I'm just not going to remember to use them half the time. So, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, ooh, we'll get rid of these. We're just gonna, yeah, we're just going to get rid of a lot of the stuff. Aside from like health potions. Um, 
Resist Frost. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna take that Back right anytime. now. I have several. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. So taking that should give us like slightly better prices. Pretty sure. Um, we'll sell these. Get rid of them. And resist fire, resist fire, resist frost, resist poison. That causes poison damage to us, so we'll get rid of it. Uh, resist poison for 60 seconds. Resist 14% of frost damage. That's good. She's running out of money. She doesn't even have any money. Okay. That's all Until next done. Uthgerd. Let's get going. Yeah, no, not yet. What do you need to take? I'm going to take... Hmm, we'll take the steel armor, we'll take this, we'll take this, 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 you can keep that, and we'll take these, and we'll take that, and actually, what else did what you What do have? you need to take? Why aren't you using this? Okay, we'll take, uh, you can hold on to that for now. Let's go. We'll disenchant it later. Just got to remember that you got it. So... What we're going to do now is hopefully it's still light outside, and it is. And hopefully Belthor... Oh, come on, come on, come guard. on. Vampire hunters or something. the dawn guard, yes. Might consider joining what we're going to do is... Just about everybody in here. Now I've got another... See, I told you, as soon as we hit level questions. 10. As soon as we hit level 10, stuff's just going to... Everything's just for sale, my friend. Compound Everything. on us. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, he's got plenty of gold. Sweet. We're going to sell that, 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 that. Sell that. Oh, he doesn't have enough of that. Jeez, that went quick. His gold went so quick. Um, oh, we should have sold those to him. Oh, well. Do come back. Oh, we still... Okay. We're going to do something. And I don't usually approve of doing this, but we're going to do it. It's a it's a tiny bit of a cheese, but it just saves us waiting for 48 hours. So essentially what you do is, is you save your game. You get something out to hit him with. You aggro hey, him onto what you. What do you think you're doing? And then you load that save. And he should have had his inventory reset. And you'll I have need, more money. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I try to avoid doing it, but sometimes it kind of just gets a bit too much to not do it. Just to be carrying everything everywhere. Did I make that? I must have. No, we'll sell it now. Um, yeah, it kind of just gets a bit too much to be waiting 48 hours and stuff. And I'd rather just uh, get him to reset his inventory. And but yeah, this is the first time I've actually played vanilla Skyrim in a long time without mods. And that's why I'm so excited as well, because this is the first time I've... I, I, literally since the Xbox 360. I would say the Xbox 360 was the last time I played a vanilla Skyrim. Because ever since I got the Xbox One and then started playing on PC... I just haven't been able to play without, um, we'll get rid of that. I just haven't been able to play without mods, to be honest. I've just, yeah, just, I, I, I like playing with mods way too much. So this is the, this is the first time I've played vanilla in a very, very, very long time. And why I started talking about that is because there's actually a mod where you can get these shopkeepers to have like 5,000 gold instead of 800 and mods like that like i tend to mod the game in a way where i think it's still believable like it's not ruining the game it doesn't change the look of or the feel of the game or i feel like Remember, it adds something I'll oh i'm still over encumbered or i feel like it adds it? something to the game what do you need to take because actually let's go we're just gonna we're just gonna reset his inventory again um yeah, I try to do it so it doesn't like take away from what the game actually is. Like what the game is actually intending to be and intending to do. So, I don't know, potentially after we you do this welcome. playthrough, 
Oh, a bit of this. We might a um, go through a, a bit of a modded playthrough. But again, my mod, the mods I get aren't super crazy. They're usually like the static mesh improvement mod, maybe a lighting mod. Um, then like obviously shopkeepers mod, AI overhaul, the followers. So like Inigo and... Um, and Florian, I really, I really like those too. Um, just mods like that. Those are that the mods essentially, as I said, what it, when they add something instead of taking away from what was intended. If you get what I mean, I don't know. It's kind of hard to. I guess it's kind of hard to perfectly explain or uh, what's the word. Yeah, I guess like explain what I'm saying, but yeah. Just try. I try to keep it as Skyrim as possible. It's probably the best way to say. It. Okay, you know enough jibber jabber. Let's get on with what we're trying to do this episode, and that is <sighs> after right we've so made a bunch of money. So we've made a good amount of money. Hasn't been absolutely insane, enough. but we've made a decent amount. We're gonna go to Solitude, and you can. Some of you can probably guess why we're gonna go there. And that is because there's a certain store in there, which it's just a clothes store. We're just hitting up a clothes store, but they tend to have some really, really, really good items. Need a ride? I'd like Where to hire you your to carriage. Let's go to Solitude. Climb on back and we'll be off. Climb on back and we'll be off. Okie dokie. Let's do that. First time to Solitude? Yes, actually. Old city, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already And he gets cut off by the loading screen. So immersive. Oh, my guy is really, really hungry. And he's really, really chilly. Oh, get you some food, buddy. Probably should uh, cook some food soon. Because we've got plenty of food to cook. Just need a little stew bowl. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Rika. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. If if I if I had, I I would have asked you, or I'll, I'll let you know now that I know you're. Uh, ooh, butterfly. Ooh. So we're actually gonna wait before we enter, because if we enter now, I think it'll kind of ruin what it is we're gonna see once we're in there. Ah, oh, I forgot to hold it. So yeah, also on PC, another handy thing you can do is after you press enter, if you're already holding that little um, that little slider there, you can just go zip straight down to one so you don't have to sit through it. And eating that food just became pointless because I did that. Uh, now let's go another apple pie. Apple pie is always good. They can't hurt Uncle Vlog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother... Traitor! Get on with it! You betrayed us! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all hearts with him. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Later. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric None. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Jeez Louise, and I just remembered to. I just remembered in the very first Some episode. I just remembered in the very first episode where I, I, I where I avoided uh, 
a scene like that because apparently YouTube has a problem with it. I really hope YouTube doesn't have a problem with that just then. <laughs> I'm trying my best to do everything I can by the book and nice and please the YouTube gods, please the YouTube algorithm. So I really hope uh, that doesn't affect anything. But this is why we're here. Radiant Raiment. This shop tends to have some really, really nice clothing items. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Do you get a lot of business like that? Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Bad day? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Hmm, you're Let's so pleasant to talk to. That suits you. Let's see if we can't. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about. So they have clothes like this. Apprentice robes of destruction and alteration. Very nice. And that value is scaring me because I underestimated how much this was going to cost. But that's not specifically what we're looking for. So we should be okay. We'll be looking for... Hmm, where is it? Where is it? Where could it be? Where could it be? Crabber's Charm. What? That's got to be uh, some more Creation Club content, I think. So what we're looking for... That's nice. But we've already, we already have that, actually. But it's nice. Da, 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 da. That's nice as well. That is very nice. That's good. That's good. See, that's cool as well. That's a, that must be more Creation Club stuff. This is okay. This is all Creation Club stuff. That is so cool. Um, destruction alteration. Hmm 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 hmm. Conjuration spells. Lock picking. Oh, they're not gonna have it, are they? Vagrant robes of minor conjuring. Okay, so usually what I've picked up from here in the past has been like a circlet. And I don't know if it's level capped or not, but sometimes you can get a circlet that's like just crazy, crazy, crazy expensive. So we're going to see if we can... I really want to get... I really want to see if we can get these robes up here. So, apprentice robes of destruction and alteration. They would be... They would be pretty good. So, what do we need? 300 more gold. Or just over 300 more gold. We're going to have a look-see. Oh, okay. I didn't know I was that terrible. We're going to... <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to have a... We're going to have a look at our inventory. See if we've still got plenty of stuff to sell. Uh, doesn't look like it. <laughs> um... <laughs> I mean, we could just, we could, okay, we'll just sell a bunch of those. That'll definitely get us there. Okay. We'll run back in. We'll sell the gold rings because we can, we can get those back pretty dang easy. And everything to help you. I don't mind. Oh, just, just be pleasant. Just be pleasant, please. Okay. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make some commentary. Just be pleasant. Uh, what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to sell these gold rings until we get what we need because our enchanting's already gone up a fair bit. We don't actually need them for, in, for many more enchantments. So, apprentice robes of destruction and alteration. Skadoosh. Let's do it. Why not? Money is not that hard to come by in this game and we'll sell you these. So now... Chuck these bad boys on. The gods for the end of yet another pointless conversation. And look at us. A little bit mismatched in the color. A little bit of a clipping issue with the amulet there. But I am loving it. Now, the only thing we need... <coughs> the only thing we need is... Look at this backpack. We need a mage's backpack. We need a mage's backpack. I'm going to look up after this episode if they exist... Because I don't know why they wouldn't exist if they seem like they exist for, like, stamina and things like that. So, surely there's a mage's backpack. 
Let's see. Khajiit, welcome. Madran. And also your coin. Well, thank you, Madran. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Has the war made your travels difficult? Quite the opposite, in fact. The soldiers are some of our best customers, for we offer supplies and wares they cannot obtain by other means. It was Rissad's idea to come here now, while the land is in turmoil, where others saw only danger, he saw opportunity. Hmm, what have look. we got for sale? Take a look. Oh, there's Uthgerd yawning again. She has such a cute... Why have I got this? Get rid of this. Oh, I know I have it. I would have grabbed it off Uthgerd. Um... What else can we just drop on you? We'll keep all that. We'll keep all that. We'll keep all that. We'll keep all that. I'm just going to sell these. We'll come across some more, I'm sure. We're just holding on to them now for the sake of holding on to them. And we'll keep all that. Okie dokie. May your road lead you to warm sands. And you. Now, what we're going to do from you Yes, I won't disrespect you. Just stop being annoying. Now, what we're going to do from here is... We're going to go and get Gregory. Good old Need a ride? Gregory. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. I'd like to hire your Where carriage. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Windhelm. Climb on back and we'll be Climb off. Climb on back and we'll be off. Okie dokie, climbing on back. I have been. I bought a horse there, actually. The big old and then it didn't down. follow me anywhere. It was just a thousand gold. A few episodes ago, down the toilet. <coughs> but, we're getting him now. We're getting him now. You are starving. I really need to go and cook some more stews for you, don't I? What have we got to feed ya? Grilled leeks, pheasant breast, apples, and salmon steak. That'll do us for sure. There we go. Gregory, how you going, mate? Oh, I cannot believe oh, the torch. We did grab a torch, didn't we? I'm almost certain we did. Yes, we did. Can we bring that out while we're on the torch? While we're on the horse? Okay. So now, Gregory, we're going to Winterhold. Let's put a marker there. Okay. Dokily. Let's go. And, in typical fashion... I will cut here and see you guys when we get there. Oh boy. I think we found ourselves in a bit of a mischievous situation. That right there looks like the beginnings of some Dawn Guard stuff. But we're not going to deal with them right now, and I'm so glad we have a horse so we can just trot off. Bye bye, unnecessary trouble. And here we go. Here's something else from Dawnguard. A vampire. No, calls me. no, no it doesn't. It actually it actually really just wants you to leave us alone. Like, I just... I just... Okay, you're good. You're going. I really just want to travel somewhere without five or six different things trying to kill me. Just for existing. Like, I'm a pretty peaceful guy. Thorin Verolt is a pretty peaceful guy. You know, he, he stands up for himself if, his, if he needs to, but, like, oh, the amount of things trying to kill this poor dude is insane. Anyway, we're almost there, and I'll see us when we get there. Oakley doakley, we're here, and would you guess what? We're moving as slow, as slow, slow, slow pace. A very slow pace, but we're almost there. You are numb, but we're w about to walk into a nice little warm room. Now, just to have a quick recap on what actually happened in the events prior to this, we discovered an orb in Sarthel. We had to go find, we had to talk to the librarian at the College of Winterhold, who's Urag. 
to see if he knew anything about it. He said he did, but the books that contain the relevant information had been taken by a person named Orthorn. We then had to go to Orthorn and the little mages guild he had ran off with, retrieve the books, and we've just brought them back. But before we go upstairs, I really want to actually read these books just to get a bit more of the lore. So if you don't want to hear this, please feel free to skip past. I'm not going to mind, but this is just for myself and others. So, <clears throat> the last king of the A-Leads. The A-Leads, or the Heartland High Elves, ruled Cyrodiil in the long ages of myth before the beginning of recorded history. One of the earliest recorded dates, in fact is the fall of white of the white gold tower in first era 243 which is commonly assumed to mark the end of the aleads although aleed rule over all of cyrodiil wasn't although aleed rule over all of cyrodiil was indeed broken in first era 243 this was only one of the most obvious stages near the end of a long decline the first two centuries of the first era sought increasing strife between the great Aelid lords of Cyrodiil. Alicia appears to have taken, uh, taken advantage sorry, of a period of civil war to launch her uprising. Imperial historians have traditionally attributed her victory to, to intervention from Skyrim, but it appears that she had at least as much help from rebel Aelid lords during the siege of the White Gold Tower. The popular image of the A-Leads as brutal slave masters is based in fact, of course, but it is less well known that a number of A-Lead princes continued to rule parts of Cyrodiil after 263 as vassals of the new Empress of Cyrodiil. This suggests either that A-Lead rule was not universally detested or that Alicia and her successors were more pragmatic than is traditionally believed, or perhaps some of both. In any event, the excavations at a number of A-Lead sites show continued occupation and even expansion during the so-called late A-Lead period, 1st era 243, C 498. At first, many A-Lead lords continued to rule as vassals of the new human regime. <clears throat> In some cases, A-Lead supporters of Elysia were even rewarded with new lands taken from slain enemies. It is not clear to what extent human slavery continued under, Cyrodiilic, um, under the Cyrodiilic Empire. Humans continued to dwell in the Aelid ruled areas of Cyrodiil, but there is nothing definitive to show under what terms. This was an uneasy relationship from the beginning and was not destined to last long. Resentment at the continued presence of Aelid nobles within the Empire was a contributing factor to the rise of the so-called Elysian Order, founded by Morak. The first victims of the Elysians were the Aelids of Cyrodiil. In the early 300s, the surviving Aelid communities in human-ruled areas were obliterated one by one, the refugees temporarily swelling the power of the remaining Aelid lordships. Then, in 361, the Elysians gained control over th of the empire and enforced the Elysian doctrines throughout this domain. The Aelid lordships were abolished. Enforcement of this decree does not appear to have required much direct violence. It seems that by this point, the balance of power was so overwhelmingly against them and their fate so long foreshadowed that most of the remaining Aelids simply left Cyrodiil, eventually being absorbed into elven populations of Valenwood and High Rock. Indeed, the rise of the Dirini hegemony may be linked to this exodus of Aelids from Cyrodiil, a connection so far little studied by historian. Still, the remnant Aelid population seems to have survived the rule of the Elysians because we hear the last king of the Aelids joining the Battle of Glenubria Moors where the Durenus decisively defeated the Elysians in 482. How this king's people survived the preceding century is unknown. We do not even know who they are, who they were, although recent research points to Nenalata as the possible resting place of this last king. Unfortunately, in the current state of the empire, funds are no longer available for proper scientific investigation of such extensive ruins. 
So the answer to these questions will have to be left to future generations. Hoo wee, that was a long book. <laughs> My goodness. All right, hopefully the others aren't as long, but I'm prepared for them to be just as long. Let's have a quick look at what we're in for here. Okay, that's not too bad. That's fine. And I'm pretty sure Knight of Tears is actually the one that refers more to Sarthal, so this should be a bit more interesting as well. Knight of Tears, Draenor Seleth. Sarthal holds a prominent place in Skyrim history. Even if most do not remember it by name, it is, of course, the site of the first major Nord settlements. One of the first cities of men in Skyrim, and the earliest known capital of their civilization. It was also the site of terrible bloodshed when the elves attempted to drive the Nords out of Skyrim, to succeed only in incurring their wrath in the form of Ysgrimor and his fabled 500 companions, who swept the elves from Skyrim and firmly established it as, uh, as the home of the Nords. All this is known but little else. What happened on the Night of Tears when Sarthal was razed to the ground? was raged to the ground. What provoked the elves into such a deliberate, vicious attack? And what prompted such a severe response from the Nords? Vingamo's treatise on the Ultima antecedent suggests that the elves of the Merithic era, along with their counterparts, the early Dwemer, possess a degree of sophistication unparalleled in Tamriel. They displayed power beyond what could be expected of the time. While a distinct explanation is not given for this, I believe that this work, compared with the early writings of Hesef Shirinus, suggests that something greater was at work on the night in Sarthol. On that night in Sarthol. The true motives behind the Night of Tears have been obscured to us by the passage of time, but I believe this was not a simple war of territory or control of Skyrim. I believe that what happened was a significant event based around something very particular. The Nords found something when they built their city, buried deep in the ground. They attempted to keep it buried, but the elves learned of it and coveted it for themselves. Thus, they assaulted Sarthol. Their goal not to drive the Nords out, but to secure this power for themselves. I believe Ysgrimor knew something of what the elves would find under Sarthol and rallied together his people to keep it to keep the elves from gaining it. When Nords once, ag once again controlled Skyrim, this power was buried deep below the earth and sealed away. Time has kept this knowledge from us, but it is my hope that time will also reveal the truth of these words. Every effort will be made to relocate Sarthal and find that which has been lost to us. So yeah, definitely got more to do with Sarthal in that book. And the last one, Fragment on Arteum. Let's see how long this one goes for. Hopefully it's nice and short. Oh boy, oh boy. Not quite as short as I would like, but it talks about the Sidgics. So, let's get into it. <coughs> the Isle of Arteum, Arteum, is the third largest island in the Somerset Archipelago. Located south of the Moridanan Mer Mer village of Potenza and west of the mainland village of Runca Bay. It is best known for being home to the Sidic Order, perhaps, oldest, perhaps the oldest monastic group in Tamriel. The earliest written record of Sidics is from the 20th year of the First Era and tells a tale of a renowned Breton sage and author, Voronet. Travelling to the Isle of Artaeum to meet with Lachesis, the right master of the Sidgics. Even then, the Sidgics were the counsellors of kings and proponents of the Elder Way, taught to them by the original race that inhabited Tamriel. The Elder Way is a philosophy of meditation and study said to bind the forces of nature to the, ind to the individual will. It differs from Magicka in origin, but the effects are much the same. That said, it is perhaps more than coincidence that the Isle of Arteum literally vanished from the shores of Somerset at the beginning of the Second Era, at about the time of the founding of the Mages Guild in Tamriel. Various historians and scholars have published theories about this, but perhaps none of the Lachesis and his own could shed light on the matter. Five hundred years passed on, and Arteum returned. 
The Sidgicks on the Isle consisted of persons, mostly elves, who had disappeared and were presumed dead in the Second Era. They could not or would not offer any explanation of Arteum's whereabouts during that time, or the fate of Lachesis and the original Council of Arteum. Currently, the, F- the Sidgicks are led by the Lawmaster Solaris, who has presided over the Council of Arteum for the last 250 years. The council's influence in Tamriel politics, or Tamrielan politics, is tidal. The kings of Somerset, particularly those of Muradunan, have often sought the Sidgic's opinion. Emperor Uriel V was much influenced by the council in the early, most glorious parts of his reign, before his disastrous attack on Akavir. It has been even it has even been suggested that the fleet of the king of Orgum of Pinadia, Pinadia, blah, 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 was destroyed by a joint effort of Emperor and Antiochus and the Sidic Order. The last four emperors, Uriel the Sixth, Morith, Morith, Morahatha, Pelagius the Fourth, and Uriel the Seventh, have been suspicious of the Sidic's enough to refuse ambassadors from the Isle of Artaeum within the Imperial City. The Isle of Artaeum is difficult to chart geographically. It is said it shifts continuously either at random or by decree of the Council. Visitors to the island are so rare as to be almost unheard of. Anyone desirous of a meeting with a Sijic may find contacts in Potanza and Runkabai as well as many of the kingdoms of Somerset. Were it more accessible, Arteum would, have, would be a favoured destination for travellers. I have been to the Isle once and still dream of its idyllic orchids and their clear pastures, its still and silent lagoons, its misty woodlands and the unique Sidic architecture that seems to be as natural as its surroundings, as well as wondrous in its own right. The Sephora Tower, in particular, I would study, for it's for it is a relic from a civilization that predates the High Elves by several hundred years and is still used in certain rites by the Sidgicks. Perhaps one day I might return. Note: the author is currently on the Isle of Artaeum by gracious consent of Master Sarginius of the Council of Artaeum. Who boy was that some reading probably the most reading i've done in a very long time but i'm also glad we did it i did find that interesting i hope anyone that actually sat through that found it interesting as well and well worth the read for all of you that skipped it all good i'm not bothered by it i completely understand but for me i just love the law too much i don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly are we clear we are very clear hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection it's going to stay pristine understand i understand here are the books that went missing well well and you seem to be in one piece thank you i'll look these over and inform mirabelle if i find anything relevant night of tears eh i remember this one well isn't that interesting did you read it yourself I if did. I call it correctly. I did. That has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here, I suppose you've earned these. After all that reading, I definitely did earn those books. So, what Until we can do time. now is, from the books he's given us. we can begin to read them and start getting some free levels. Usually I wouldn't do this, but there are a lot of books in here and I really don't want them to uh, kind of clog up our inventory. Please forgive that sound. That is my doorbell ringing. Someone will answer it soon, hopefully. Um, and there is only a couple left, I believe. Why is that not working? The Black Arts on Trial. Let me get to it. There we go. And the next one. Okay, and we got a level up out of that. So well worth it. Well worth it indeed. Now we can you talk to him. You talk to me. 
Please make Whatever sure you got your for hands sale. Clean before touching okay, them. okay, right. okay. Please stop being so terrible to talk to. You can have this back, this back, this back, this back, this back, and this back. Thank you very much, Urag. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oakley, Doakley. So now we are going to go speak with Tolf Deer. My goodness, we are moving slow. We really need to uh, get some sleep or something. And our vision's all blurry and stuff too. Tolf Deer, just the man I'm Good looking for. Skyrim still has <laughs> this is man. why I love you, Tolf Deer. You are just it's such a beacon of positivity. Urag suggested I come see you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? I found a certain book, Night of Tears. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? It indeed is. Something that men and mare fought over? Yes, I read I'll it. I have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Yes. Eliad, Dwemer, Daedric, not even mm -hmm. Falmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. Mm -hmm. But can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magicka. Oh, I know who that is. You, you're terrible. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. Yes, let's do that. I need that. you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Oh, I really dislike you. I don't understand what's going on. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psychic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Aren't you just an advisor here? Technically that is true, but I still report to the Old Merry Dominion, and I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry, you can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Oh my goodness. Oh, I dislike him so much. I dislike him so, so, so much. Oh, your time is a coming. Your time now, is a coming. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. I dislike him. Just in case you couldn't tell, I really dislike him. <sighs> Let's do it. <laughs> How did you do that, Uncano? Alrighty. This is where Please it gets do interesting. Not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. It is good to meet you in person. Very good to meet you too, my friend. What's going on? What happened to everyone? I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately, but I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance, and attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally 
to tell you it must be dealt with. What does this have to do with me? You set this chain of events in motion at Sarthol. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. Why should I trust you or your order? I presume you refer to Onkano's distaste for the Sigic Order. No, I'm just trying to get more law. Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you good. that we mean you no harm. Good, good. I like that. So, what exactly is the problem? As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. I'll help, but I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. Who is the Augur of Dunlane? He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. Where can I find this Augur? I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. I could imagine. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. A little motivational Wait, push. What is the meaning of this? Shut up. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't be don't sorry. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. Yeah. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am huh. not up to anything. Like you I could do anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. Oh, there's just... There's just so much... I can't even explain. I just really, really do not like him. Okay, let's see if we can take anything in here now. Nope, nope, nope. Still all stealing. Still all terrible. Still still have to be bad people if we want any of this stuff in here. Oh, I really want to see what's in this safe. Steel Dagger of Souls. Garnet. Iron ingot. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can disenchant anything. I'm pretty sure we can either disenchant something or Uthgird has got something that we can disenchant really quickly. I'm still here. Yes. I what know. do you need to take? You are very, very loyal. Thank you. That's exactly Let's what go. I was looking for. And we'll disenchant it because I just remembered about it. And skadoosh. Thanking you. And that is going to have to do it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And also, please comment anything that you think I should do in the upcoming episodes, whether it be Creation Club content or, store or just vanilla content, anything you think will really help this character. Because as of right now, the only way I can see this character being helped is just by sprinkling in some um, leveling here and there, some like dedicated leveling outside of questing here and there but in any case i hope you all have a great day and thank you very much for watching